And I really yeah, most of them have, have, got, about the I have so got, got a routine yeah. that I have worked out over the years yeah. that works. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I do it my way, and it works. Me too. Now, now you have to write a book. <laughs> no. Then he comes along, and he wants to do something entirely different. Oh, I've been telling I... Joy forever that she needs to write the ultimate travel book yeah. about, How... mostly about the Byzantine Europe, trips. Yes. But, and... But, and Europe on one dollar a week. It's kind of quite... Well... <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're in Turkey, you can do it, but then you're not in Europe. But yes. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. I said to Justin, the place we stayed that night in Barry, I no. said I've stayed in some budget hotels, in my time, <laughs> but I have never stayed. Well, it seems my guy. I don't want to spend any money. <laughs> God. So. Well, why you'd want to be in Barrie, Ontario, I can't tell you. Well, well be purely because, well, absolutely <laughs> quite right. How right you are. Uh, um, well, we didn't really see much of Barrie. I can't really speak for Barrie. Well, it's like, yeah, it's, yeah. it's just a gateway to the... Have you ever stayed anywhere? And I've stayed, I'll tell you, I have stayed in a great many budget hotels with a big B. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. 40 euros a day, dinner, bed and breakfast was expensive. Mm -hmm. Right? But never... Have I ever, ever <laughs> been given sure, cardboard plates and plastic cutlery for my breakfast? Oh, well, I'm afraid that's de rigueur at American hotels now. It's not just in, in well, Barrie. Most said, places, that's what you're going to get for your, your breakfast. I can't believe it. I just thought I was terrible. Well, where you have to serve yourself, you get that. Usually, if, if you're in a real... Restaurant, you do get real plates, but, <laughs> but real cutlery, <laughs> real cutlery. But the plastic, not even plastic plates. They were cardboard plates <laughs> and cardboard things for the cereal. I heard you're in the wrong place. Yes, I've I've experienced that many that many times. <laughs> it's I've I've had that experience in a lot of hotels. You've never in North had America, that, have you? in North plastic North, plates, lots of time. He said. In North America, I have it all. That's what they have all the time. That's it. And when I think of those hotels I've stayed in Europe, where everything works, the shower works, mm -hmm. they're plugged, well, they're not plugged to the basement because it's not their custom, but the, everything works. Right. It's perfect. It's this, and they are really cheap. Oh. But what about what about the place? The, your Turkish hotel. What, what's the great? It's, it's the great philosophic um, uh, paradox. Apparently, there's the cars paradox. Cars is a place in eastern Turkey, which was notorious. I think oh, in the yes, first war. That's but, a bit but apparently, according to according to somebody yeah. you, you travelled, no, there it was, was the, the Kadugan guy. Guy. Guys, <laughs> the cars paradox, which is there are two hotels in cars, uh -huh. and which. Ever hotel you're in, you think you are in the worst hotel in the world. Right. But if you move to the other one, <laughs> they, you'll they find it's worse. worse. <laughs> but it doesn't matter which one you <laughs> start with. Exactly. If you're in the thing, you think you're in the worst hotel in the world. You're not. The other one is. <laughs> <laughs> but since then, they've done. No, that I must admit. Yeah. Well, I will give them something in Barry. There were not flies all over the food. There you go. I will give them that. Well, what's your problem? Though? No, they have screens now on the window. Yeah, I think. We were, we were Besides playing. this time of year, come in June, you'll have better flies. What? In June, you'll have better flies. <laughs> no, right. no, I bet you, quite honestly, to be fair, I'm quite sure you never have flies all over the food. We don't because we have screens on all of yes. our windows, yeah. but... Uh, <laughs> Well, that was if you go outside, I, I must admit I'd forgotten that. Aunt Justin, you reminded me because I never took my shoes off until I was on the bed, <laughs> and I took my shoes off when I was on. The See, bed. that could be a, that could be a, one of your top ten tips in yeah. your travel book. Well, the other thing is, 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 is you get very good at chucking shoes at, at cockroaches in places in, in Venezuela. It's quite, it's quite. Good. Well, but they're very large there. Well, it is fair. They do present a target. It is, yeah. It's, it's unfair. The cockroaches are very large. Well, Although, come, come down to Louisiana, it's it's they're, similar. They're smaller cockroaches. Yeah. So. No, no, larger. They're very large. Large. I never saw any cockroaches in Louisiana. I will give them that. There you go. I was, I was, I was, <laughs> I must say, I never saw any, but I tell you what, I thought his house was lovely, Peter, it was yeah, lovely, wasn't it? was it? lovely, I it loved really that was. house, it was very nice, it was very, very I nice stayed there quite frequently. it's gone by the by, I know.
Yeah, it was very nice. But it was a lovely house, and I. You I did a lot of work on it, didn't you? Oh yes. I did actually. You used to come down and fix everything. Just yeah. like your famous lamp, you remember the lamp that Justin couldn't yes, fix yes, and, yes, yes. and Dad managed yeah, to put yeah. together. That was still we still talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I actually remember that. <laughs> it was a challenge. Yeah, but wait, I'm trying. I'm trying what, where is the lamp now? It's, well, it's in the cupboard. Oh. because <laughs> it needs Peter's attention. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll try and come over because yeah. I would like to do it. I, I, I yes. the well, lamp and I have a, a yes. relationship. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm afraid it's missing your attention. <laughs> I think this is such a lovely colour. Who lovely. chose the colour? Oh, Annabelle chose everything. Did she? Yes. Well, I must say, she'd done a good job. She had good help yes. to do that. Oh, it's a very nice colour. It's, it's a well. lovely colour. But it is. Uh, very, well, very nice. It's calming, I find. Yeah. Very, very, calming. very nice indeed. Nothing vibrant, not too. <laughs> <laughs> Except the chairs are a bit vibrant. Well, chairs, yeah, we've got a bit of colour. <laughs> That's okay. <clears throat> We, uh, now, do you yeah. not have to protect this in some way? No. <coughs> it's probably treated wood. No, it's not. It's just, uh, we, I never had them finish the wood in any way, put any artificial yeah. stuff on it. The wood's much better without it. I can hear the Canada geese. There is a swan or two. Yeah, there's like two. They're, they they work for the Chamber of Commerce. So. Actually, they're actually owned by a farmer up the river here, and, he, and they swim down into the lake. Tell me, what is on the other side of the lake? Um, more roads and things. More the cottages. Yeah, the road just goes all the way around. There are cottages all the way all the way around. Can't see them really. Well, you can see that great, the, the, there's, a, there's a mansion masquerading as a cottage straight ahead. Which not is, a lot of visible. There's something there, but yeah. over there you can't see yeah. But they're all, they're all there. But if you, look, yeah. you, you can see, the, the shoreline is actually lined with Yes, there, you can cottages. see that lot there. Well, it's around the corner, the same thing. Yeah. It's just that they're quite, it's quite well wooded. I can wooded see there, right over there, there, that's where I was looking. But uh, quite a bit of it, there are no roads into it, so you, there are no cottages. So there's oh, still so some, why are there no roads? well, there's farms. I mean, farms. they're farms mostly. Uh, most mostly farms come down to the to the. Oh to the well, lake. that's what I'm talking about there. Well, over there now, you see all the birds. We're on the flight path to uh, the birds going south now this time of the year, and this is a rest stop for all the water birds. Yeah. You can see over there. There must yeah, be hundreds of them over there yeah. now. They're and, on and they'll take off. It's just suddenly somebody gives a command, and they all go in the big yes. flock, yeah. and they're off to the next lake. And you know where they're off to? Montrose Basin. What? These lot aren't they? These going south. Up, they're not up, going... up, up from him. No, no, yeah, but these ones aren't because they don't go east west. They go north south. They're going south. Our ones they're come. South. Our ones come from West Africa. No, and they, go... they come from Russia or somewhere. Well, no, they go, that's where they go in the, but in there's the an ocean in between. Uh, we have our own. But yeah, there's not much, unless they get blown off course by a hurricane. Yeah. You, occasionally yeah. they get a, a yeah, we, yeah, and same, same. We occasionally get ones, but it's they're they're very I've lost. Looked, you have yeah. uh, not as lost though. That in, in for a long time it, it's died now, but for a long time in Shetland, there was a very very lost albatross, oh, really? which which was generally thought to be the only albatross in the northern hemisphere. So it was a very lonely albatross, <laughs> yeah, um, and it somehow got you know, blown really? right up from the. Um, but darling, you say that, but I seem to remember the maps in Montrose Basin in the Wildlife Centre yeah. show that they come from. They don't come across the Atlantic. They come. They come from Russia, and down through. Yeah. It's amazing how many birds actually cross the ocean. Mm -hmm. uh, it's yeah, the whole the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I don't think they come across. I will. But find they tend out. to go north south. They yeah, so generally they go north south. So there isn't yeah. a lot of. Uh, yeah. Cross, yeah. Yeah. It depends which their air currents go, yeah. isn't it? The well, of course, the, the, uh, everything but if, if, they went, if they went from here, so they'd never get back. They'd never be able to fly back against the wind. Well, actually, it's so interesting it's because, what bird is it? it? It takes three generations to get to its breeding ground. Oh, uh, yes, I've heard, yes. yes you're, talking about, you're talking about the monarch butterfly. It's butterfly, that's right. It's butterfly, right. that's, right. that's what it is, monarch butterfly. It takes three generations to get from here to its original Mm -hmm. place in South America or wherever yeah. it goes and then they turn around and, and another three generations are going back. back. Where do they stop on the way? Well they, there are places uh, where they have chosen and the trees will be lined with the trees. And um, what in South America do they shoot them? Butterflies. They're butterflies. Quite, that's quite a challenge. I don't know it's a bit of a challenge. It's butter the main problem is the destruction well, of their habitat. Butterflies. 
<clears throat> talking about monarch butterflies. Yeah. You'd be hard pushed. I say we do a very good shot to get out of it. But uh, but in I Mexico, think, I, think, I think even Italians yeah, in Mexico would, they, they might shoot. shoot. <laughs> well, they're 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 destroying their habitat, so it's a problem. I see. Yeah. But well, they do, like Dad said, they're just all over all the trees and. Yeah. Well, they won't that must be quite a sight. The monarch butterflies so colourful. The, the, the oh, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. For a while, um, they were. Well, this is a very persistent fly. This is a fly, isn't it? Yeah. That's a lovely view from that window. Was oh, yeah. the window always as big as that? Mm -hmm. so, Was yeah. the window always a, open? Oh no, that's, that's yeah, the, it's the same. Out. Yeah, that's no, always originally. Been. Yes. Yeah. Well, this is original. Yeah, that, that, we built this, this house. This hasn't changed. The house uh, itself is the same. But yeah. what did he go out onto? A, a, a narrow about uh, a, narrow a, 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 a very narrow little yeah. Yeah, balcony. Which wasn't and, and it was flat anything. though. Yes, and also it wasn't glass, so you couldn't see through it like yeah. this. So we, right. we took all that off and had them build this. Yeah. Which uh, and and downstairs quite nicely. But you see, this is a good idea having the glass, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's at great. Least you're not, Denied the view. Yeah, but and and you don't get in the wind in the back of your because, because well, there's well, regulations it, about the distance anyway. between the. Yeah, they have to be. Yeah, they, is it in the UK? It's ten centimeters. Yes, I think. it's like that here. Well, basically, you have. It, 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 I think the test is a ten centimeter ball, and this, you can't put. This is a special ten. tempered glass. Yeah, all of it. Yeah, so the kids can jump into it as hard so as they like. Yeah, so it, you get around the problem because otherwise you have to have the bars very close yeah. together. Well, Margie, in her in. Um, the Skoka uh, balcony, which would be about as long, big as this, either rotted or it was wooden, I think. Yeah. It, it rotted. Oh, really? And she didn't have anything there. And the, um, she had to have a new one. Yeah. And it was going to be, I can't tell you how expensive it was going to be. I, mean, I can tell you how expensive this yeah, was. Yeah, <laughs> really, really, you know, astronomical. And uh, the uh, authorities said, you know, they would shut her down if she didn't put something there, because it was all open. Mm. Well, it couldn't be open. Yeah, you yeah. just walked straight off. But this is a special glass. it was glass. a great worry to her. A special, special glass. Yeah. You take a sledgehammer to it. So did you see Margie already? The Friday or something. Yeah, so okay. The end of week. <clears throat> but we, uh, yeah, when we originally built, we just had this narrow little uh, uh, deck didn't realize and then we took everything off and redid the whole back end of the building no it works very well and uh, it does it's actually it's marvelous we, it's like another room during the summer yeah yeah exactly what, yeah, what because what's a whole big is there a time X. of year with flies and things that it's different you can't really use it outside or is that just a time of day well uh, we don't not bother much you don't bother, not bother as much there's flies yeah. Yeah, they get flies. mosquitoes and yeah. some mosquitoes we are by the water by yeah. the and all, but, uh, but it's, it's not been a, a, a problem. Of, and you do have the Scottish problem of the midges, which is a. But of course, we don't. No midges. We don't come out of here after dark very often. Right, yeah, so that's part of it. Probably. I think so. Uh, Except but, when we're looking at the stars, Dan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, of course, that's professional. Um, <laughs> uh, 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 when we when we, we sat out, out here and watched the Perseid meteor shower. And, oh, it was, was, it, was it good? Was yes, it was, was very good. good. We saw some good ones. Well, we did, we did. So is this all, I mean, originally the basement was that bit, and now it's incorporated all this, has it, as well? Uh, it's the same. This is above the, the basement. The basement the, starts over there. Yeah. This is above the, uh, beyond the basement, towards the water. Oh, is it? Yeah. 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 So, so the, the ground plan of the house is exactly the same as it, it was. It hasn't changed. Yeah. Right. But there so, was extensive renovation inside. Yeah. So this isn't being incorporated as well? No, it's, no they haven't extended the, ba the, yeah. the basement. The best part. thing we did was to and it was all Annabelle's doing, was to create a, a big enough space yeah. to be usable. Well, yeah, to have the, be able to have a table on and well, things. Yeah, yeah. But it's a bit like when we were looking at the deck at your house at West Hills, we yes. making it big enough. Because originally it was so narrow you couldn't really do anything yeah. with it. Yeah, had a table, you had to walk, try and crawl around it. it. Yeah. <clears throat> so this has been really wonderful. He's worried about his dinner. What time, you, no, when are you lecturing? <clears throat> what, time are you, what time did you have to do your... Oh, not tonight, tomorrow night. Oh, it's tomorrow night. Ah, oh, it's not tonight. Right. Luckily, there, my students are taking a test tonight, so right. that, oh, there's so no there's no the class. <laughs> so that's okay. Is it the same time zone that you go? Um... No, it's, uh, it's, uh, we're an hour later here. Right. So do you give them tutorials over the phone and things? 
Well, uh, we have, um, there's a lot of material that they can look at offline, but uh, we have two hours of live talking. And where do they, are they all over the country? No, they're just in, they're just in Baton Rouge and Fayetteville, Arkansas. Oh, so it's just as if they were at the university. Well, they're all, they're all either at LSU or Arkansas, University of Arkansas. And then, but you must have some students you see face to face. No, not if they're taking it online. We don't see them but face to face. Do you have any PhD people? Oh yeah, but uh, yeah, but okay. not. Uh, I mean, normally I, I teach face to face. So this is just a, an additional thing. That just... Right. So uh, I have one postgraduate student who's about to finish next year, and I have three um, undergraduates yeah. who are working for me also, and I do see them face to face. So, um, uh, because you know, just, you know, Anthea follows him on Facebook or something or other. I don't know. Yes, something. Facebook. Yes. Face chat. He Snap follows him on Facebook. something or other. <laughs> and uh, apparently they, he was in a queue or something and he's, somebody discovered who he was and they said, oh, you're the uh, YouTube XYZ person, aren't you? Uh, only if I was only if they'd been in my class before. Because nobody, was, nobody, especially nobody days. knows who I am. Who? <laughs> no, but this person did. They they knew you by your star name, and they when they your thought they saw the real person, the real person who did this star. Oh, that. Well, it's something truth in. It's a bit garbled, but there's, <laughs> there's, uh, um, there's some some uh, our, substance. Sar Corona Borealis. Yes. So you do have a fan club, is it? No, <laughs> not really. But I, I have a I have a group of stars that I'm the expert on. Only uh -huh. a group. Oh, I thought it was just one star. Yeah. It's a small group. <laughs> it's about 150 stars, but the the original one, our Corona Borealis, was. Discovered. It's the one that man was talking about. I, probably. Um, this is all apocryphal. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it was discovered back in the 1780s by a guy in Bath, England, who had a pair of opera glasses. <laughs> and uh, He didn't have to go to Hawaii. No, no. I, well, I don't. I can't believe he had any clear nights, but um, he did discover that it varied in brightness. So he published a paper in 1797 in the Transactions of the Royal Society. Now, the other thing I find interesting is his sponsor. First variable. You know, one of the he first. Has the sponsor. One of the very. One of the first. Yeah, that was the first. Uh, one of the first, yes, was that the first published thing about variable stars? No, but uh, there were. It was one of the very first variable yeah. stars discovered. But but he only used opera glasses to watch it. Was this well, that's because it's almost visible with the naked eye, but it gets very much fainter, um, sometimes. Right, and he'd noticed the variation. Then. But the first the first variable star in each gal in each constellation mm -hmm. gets the letter R. Oh, so this is yeah. R Corona Borealis. Right. It's a bit obscure as to why. And, um, no, what was I saying about uh... well, the man with the opera glasses? Well, it was on Facebook, and there was. Yeah, uh, it was the man on Facebook that just sat, and he was telling me there was another story. What was I going to say? I forgot what so, I was going to say. So, but we've, we've spent the afternoon, well, the morning, actually, chasing around Baptist churches in, in West yeah. Luther, <laughs> which has been quite interesting. So, um, remind me of the connection with Luther, yeah, why West you went Luther, there. Luther. It's obscure, Luther. I'll tell you. <laughs> you, you you're going to need you're gonna need pencil, paper, and a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a good memory for this one. What? Why you wanted Why to go to Luther? Why we Baptist churches in, in West well, it's Luther? it's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. It's a long story, because when you look up the... I mean, it, 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 it's not of no interest to anyone, the, the, unless the, you're the, related. The husband of mum's great-aunt, great-great-aunt. Great. Yeah, great-great-aunt. Great. Great. Husband yeah. or, uh, is down as in the census in West Luther as being a 
Baptist pastor yeah, okay. at Monk, and the Monk Baptist Church is still going strong. Wow! In the middle of, I'll show you the picture. Literally in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. The middle of nowhere doesn't really actually going to describe strong in a big way. I'll tell you. I mean, you know, and and I can tell you there is absolutely nothing around. And I thought of my poor grandparents who happened to live with them for a bit. God knows why, but they did. And I thought if you'd come from London, central London, and you were stuck there, you would have gone mad. Well, especially if, since they're Baptists. But then they were. Well, they were Church well, of England. Well, what's quite okay. funny is that in No, the, but I mean, the yeah. people they were staying with we were, were Baptists. Baptists. Yes. Because yeah. Baptists are not allowed to have any fun. Yeah. No, they're not. So, um, <laughs> well, even less than Presbyterians. Isn't yes, well, exactly. Less, every, less than every Presbyterians. Census, they insisted on saying everybody else said whatever they said. They put C of E, C of E. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so it was obviously, it was obviously, obviously th things were obviously calm and peaceful in that household, I thought. Well, but if it was, um, I'm sure and, they were getting their drinks uh, yeah. under the under <laughs> the counter. <laughs> but. but but what was interesting is this church is there, and it, and it was the church that was there. It was built in. 1896 or so, so just when they were there and he just gone he obviously yeah. i mean the chances are it was the first you know the, one of the initial the initial minister mm -hmm. but so, um, um but people were so um jack going over we knocked yeah, on doors you know? yes yeah. oh what what's that so that's coming from due north pretty much isn't it For both of these there's another one here well that's we're looking west oh, we're looking west oh right it's it's west. West. So they're mostly going east and west, west here, because right. they're just these are going from are Toronto they, um, and Man pas passenger planes. Yes. Or yeah, airports. yeah, they're tra they're passenger planes. They're mostly going from Montreal and Toronto to out west. Right, really? we're right in the flight path here. Yeah. Why are they leaving a trail? Well, because of the height they're at. They well, no, it's just moisture content among yeah. other things, but the pressure of the wind compresses. The air and it yeah. creates a, a difference in the moisture. So it's like a cloud and forming it, behind. It, yes, it's it's, uh, it has to do with the per, it's a perfect gas law. Yeah. PV um, equals NRT. Because <laughs> is that the same as when you see high speed jets at, at low altitude and they form um, trails off the wingtips? That's that's, that's more just the turbulence going off the mm -hmm. plane. But this, the here you're like you were saying, the water is coming as a byproduct of of the engine of yeah. burning so they're, they're the fuel, the they go through. Yeah. and then it, yes, it comes out and there's a change in the. And what's that one? Where's what's that the, one going? Well, well it's like, going from west to east, so it's going from from Calgary to uh, Montreal or something. Or Vancouver. Or something. Yeah. It's a bit the high for Toronto, isn't it? It have trouble. Going with quite fast, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Well, they go about five to six hundred miles an hour. Huh? Yeah, generally about five. Yeah, five hundred. Well, if that's why you had getting... a, oh, you can see the wings, can't you? Yeah. 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 And the engine, so you can see it's quite clear. You can see it's a... It's good by the sun, you see, and yeah. it's dark down here. Do you get a lot of them? Oh, yeah, we're in a flight path. There's lots, but they don't hear them. They don't hear them. They're very high up. You can just... <coughs> yeah, you can hear them. They're wrong if you heard them. They're generally 30 to 40,000 feet, feet up. Yeah, so they're not bothering us much. That's incredible. And can you see the stars well here? Oh, it's very good. It's very dark. Is it dark? Yeah. yeah. It? No, no ambient light really. We can go out later. Can you see your star. Yours is only in the southern hemisphere. No, no, it's northern. But you need opera glasses. <laughs> yeah, so it's just too faint to see with the naked eye. But I can show. Well, if it were the right time of year, I could show you the constellation that it's in. Corona borealis. Now, what was I going to say about you and the? Well, it's the stars. it's the Northern Crown. Yeah. It was caught. It, it was formed from the flowers and the hair of Ariadne. Yes. When she died. Yes. They were thrown up into the sky and yes. became the constellation Corona Borealis. Yes. And you had heard of that. Yes. Um, but there was something else I was about you. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> something <laughs> else about me. Something in. about you. Fine. Well, we're, we can stay out here for what till dinner's ready. It's going to be about another twenty minutes. But well, why did you always have to go to Chile in the southern hemisphere if it was northern hemisphere? Uh, because I look at more than one thing. Because he was what? He looks at more than one star. Oh, <laughs> they're allowed to. You know, it's a kind of special so yeah, they're concept. mostly southern yeah, stars. But I also, I I look at, uh, I study other things, mostly dust uh, in oh, really space. Like um, I was hearing about that. Uh, I was quite interested. When you, what well, research are you doing on those? Well, um, for my stars, the main thing right now is trying to understand 
how they were formed. Yes. Because they're extremely strange stars. Yes. They, um, most stars are about 90% hydrogen. Yes. And my stars have no hydrogen. Oh, yeah. well, so it's maybe none. not a star. Oh, they're, they're stars, but they're all helium. Almost all helium. Can you burn helium at the right no. temperature? Well, yes, at the right temperature, but they're not doing it. But yes, you burn hydrogen into helium and then helium into carbon. Oh, okay. And uh, so um, we're trying to understand how they formed, which we think was be from two then, stars. When you go on the, this course, not course, on this conference, yes. the other people are also studying stars that are not proper stars like yours. Yes, this... this Improper stars. This like conference was energy. called <laughs> Hydrogen Deficient Stars. Oh, yes, right. that's what that's your... Class that's stars. who yeah. your group is. Yes, is. that's my group. <laughs> yes. Anyway, um, we think they formed from two stars that were orbiting each other, actually merging into one star. So it's very exciting. And then, so, yeah, is this a fairly new theory? It's kind of... Uh, it's been around for about 30 or 40 years, but we're... Close to proving that it's actually right. Yes. Well, you've been around doing it for 30, 40 years, haven't you? Uh, yes, it's been a long time. <laughs> that was an unnecessary comment. That <laughs> <to be> <laughs> really? <laughs> no, but seriously, you've been doing it. But have you ever been the same star the whole time? Uh, I work on a lot of different things. Yeah. 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 Are you cold at all? Would you like no, to go in? No, I'm fine. Okay. I'm going to go in in a minute to finish dinner. And so that's one bit you do. Well, what else are you doing? Well, I work on dust in many different environments in space, and one of them is around these our Corona Borealis stars, and also just in the interstellar medium, and also in supernovae. So, but... Uh, but are they all interrelated <clears throat> in some way? Only through the dust. Only? The dust. The dust. The dust. That's, yeah. Well, I thought it was dust that you were interested in. That is. That's yeah. why I'm studying all these different objects. Yes. Yeah. So my. So basically, it's <clears throat> the dust you're into. The basic. Thing. That's how I got sucked into the Arcobor stars because they form a lot of dust. But now I'm trying There's to understand the stars things. themselves, not just the dust. Not yeah. just the dust. No. Yeah. No, there was something else that uh, you were noted for. What it was. Was this <laughs> <laughs> Noted for. for. Yeah. <laughs> you went now, but you. I know when you, when you went to Hawaii. Is that that's the northern hemisphere, isn't it? Some, uh, no. Yes. So you need telescopes in the north and the south because you see different stars. There's a whole new sky, a different sky. Yeah. But I remember when you used to go to Chile when it was really very dangerous. Well, it was, they were coming out of it by the time, the first time I went down there was 1980. So that was about seven years after the revolution. So things had, had calmed down. Yeah. But the presidential palace in Santiago was still um, in ruins because they, uh, they bombed it during the, and then, uh, but, so they were still recovering, but it was, it, Chile really is a very well-run, quiet country on the whole. Oh, really? Yeah, and so um, they went back to that fairly quickly. But it was bad. I mean, it was really bad in the revolution, but uh, yeah. um, but they, they've they gone back to being sort of one of the more well-run countries in South America, for sure. Yeah. Are there any others? <clears throat> and then you go, but you go to... But when you go to Australia, that's really just to see... The well, we don't go observing anymore yeah. because it's all done by the computers. So it's all... Very yeah. sad. Sad, but, is rather, well, yeah. but, well, he said you don't really need to go to any of these places anymore because you do it all on the computer remotely. From the, you don't have to peer through the, 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 yeah. So, yeah, so it's very sad, but I don't go observing anymore. Yeah. But I still get data, but. Yeah. yeah. Mind you, it saves, the, it saves the cut. Oh, I know yes. what I was wanted to Sometimes. say. I remembered what he, yes. I wanted ju you to tell Justin about your sponsor. My sponsor? Yeah. Your sponsor? I don't. You mean? There's somebody, isn't there? That, a family. That, well, I have an endowed chair. That's oh, what that, I mean. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh yes. No, you told me about yes. Um, uh, it's the Ball family. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, do you see much of them? I've seen them uh, only once, but I write them little letters. They live in Atlanta. 
Right. Oh, really? Why. They're not far away, really. Uh, well, no, but they don't drop by. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. But, but they get a sort of an update from time to time. Oh, yeah, I yeah. Send, send them a little letter. So but how did they contact you or you contact them? Oh, that didn't happen. He he went to LSU as an undergraduate. Yes. And so after, when he was retiring yes. and was quite rich, he gave a lot of money to LSU yes. to endow these professorships. And then LSU decided to give it one of them to me. But there was no connection between them and me. Had he, had he, had he decided it was astronomy was, was one of the things? No. Uh, oh, phys- so not even the subject, yes. Well, physics. physics it was given to the physics department. But. Um, so I met them one time when they came to LSU. Yeah. He was a vice president of IBM. What will happen if he dies? Well, the money is an endowment, so oh, nothing I happens. So we might get more money if he dies. But <laughs> they haven't got a contract out on him yet. It's got... <laughs> they were very, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. They were very, very nice. Well, it must be. Oh. Yeah, so... Um, <coughs> well, it's a nice thing to do. But you but... write them letters, so that's nice. Right, I need to write them another letter. I'm late. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to 